It's been amazing. It's been amazing. I've been on board for two months now, almost two months from uh, PEI, Charlottetown. They flew me into Charlottetown, and it's been just amazing. I've been lucky enough to be with Daryl for about three weeks, and his sister Judy I was with for a week. And uh, you know what? It's, the amazing part is all the neat people. I mean, you can work for the foundation, you can volunteer, you can do run days and that, but when you meet all these people that I have, it's just, I'll never forget. They found it, they were out in BC, and Doug Copeland, who wrote one of Terry's books, was at a party, and a guy came up and said, I think there's a van locally that looks like the one in your truck, he said, or in your book, and he said, no, I, I don't know, I gotta go see this. So he went and looked at it, and he, well, maybe it is, maybe it isn't, and then he got a hold of Daryl, who he had become friends with, after he wrote the book, and they got the VIN number, and sure enough, it was a truck. It was 10 years old, we were coming back from out west, and we were just this side, closer to the Sioux, on this side of Wawa, and he was running by with his entourage behind him, and we were all honking and waving, and all the traffic was stopped to watch him. He didn't really look at us, he looked like he was really tired by that point, so he just kind of waved at everybody on the way by, and away he went. It was a good memory, a really good memory, very impressionable. Um, I was... Uh, uh, just a wee lad then and uh, I walked from my parents place on Arizona Avenue just out to the highway at uh, Shannon and Trunk and um, at the Holiday Confectionery and I stood there and it was lined up both sides were just lined up full of people and one of the things I remembered was uh, not only seeing the determination on his face but um, the sound that he made like with his with his um, uh, with, with his leg and there was a, a definite sound that was very memorable and it sort of stuck in your head the, the, the sound of and when he came up, you could see the determination and just like just the focus uh, on him. Very memorable. The thing that I am struck by too is how the legacies carried on. And even this past week, we had, as you know, Ramesh uh, Ferris here from Cycle for Walk. And each one of these um, folks who do this across Canada, uh, you know, trek, whether they're walking, whether they're riding, whether they're biking, they all pause at the Terry Fox Monument, and they're all struck by you know what he did there's no question that i'm delighted that they're going they're bringing they're renewing that hope for all cancer survivors all across canada of course the legacy was set with terry fox uh, and i can almost imagine a little bit about when he went through i know myself and any other cancer survivor you always wonder if it's going to come back and uh, this fight for cancer has to be a continuous one. The coolest thing of all is getting to venues like this and meeting the people. I mean, it's the people that make the Fox Foundation, not the Fox Foundation. 